A new earthquake swarm seems to have started in the Swatsangi or Blue Lagoon, as it's mostly known in the international community. We had an earthquake swarm earlier in the November, as you can see. It was shocking the whole peninsula, especially Grindavik and the Blue Lagoon. Cracks appeared in the Grindavik up to three kilometers inland, which we are now trying to fill up and uh, reestablish the, all the facilities, infrastructure which we lost. The land rose and fell multiple times. And as we can see, this is something related to the magma accumulation in the dike which passing through the Grindavik to the uh, Hagerfell near to the Grindavik. We could see actually our GPS measurements are picking up the rise and fall and then rising again and passing the pre-earthquake uh, uh, levels. We saw today a new set of earthquakes starting, almost uh, magnitude 3. These are the following of the bite uh, fault zone in the uh, reckoning edge inside the Atlantic Ocean, where we could see earthquakes also starting there. And these transform faults re are related to the ones we see on the Green Week and into the uh, reckoning Peninsula. Today we have this swarm of earthquakes. Earthquakes are heavy, big. And sourcing is the center that we have this uh, activity at the moment, as the uh, area is being uh, protected by the dike, the wall, protective wall, eight meters tall. We are building around it. It's There is a hope for that, unless it happens inside the eruption eventually. If it happens inside that the protective wall and the wall breaches, we will have something pouring out. Otherwise, there is no chance for the eruption actually reaching the 8-meter uh, level inside the Sorsengi. But that is a long way uh, up in the future. At the moment, we have earthquakes, it seems, are returning.